Shelley Kerr, MBE, what a fantastic honour. Do you know, it's um, not often I'm lost for words, but I am actually speechless and, and very surprised. Um, real, a real honour and uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't, I don't even know where to begin. Um, but I think it's like any individual award. Um, I've always been brought up with good values about being a team player. And if I reflect back and look at so many people have supported me, and as a wee girl, I had a passion for football, and you know, I've, I've developed over the years. But the biggest thing for me is I've always wanted to give something back to the game, and so. I guess to be recognised for that, then it's, it's a real sense of pride for me. You mentioned it's an individual honour, but how much of this is down to the work of your backroom staff, your players and people not involved in the, in the squad at the moment? Uh, yeah, it is. It's, it's more about other people than it is about me, obviously. Um, I think you have so many people that are, you know, mentors throughout your career but the players have, have generated a whole lot of profile and, and success for the women's national team. Um, I've worked with in the development side of the game as well and there's been so many people that have been instrumental in supporting me as an individual and you know it's, it's, it's probably down to them that you know I've been recognised um, for this, this award but as I say it's it's a surreal moment and um, I, I, I am I'm, I'm lost for words. And what's been the, the reaction of your, your family and the people you've told so far? Um, well, obviously um, I've been sworn to secrecy, so it's, um, it's pretty much only been um, my parents and my daughter so far. So, um, you know, I, I obviously um, I'm here in France, so probably I won't get to share the moment until obviously um, I get home from France. Um, so, but I'm, I'm sure that um, they'll be extremely proud as well because I think my family have sacrificed a lot for me. Um, if I think about being a working mum as well, and you know, my my brothers, my sister, the whole family have been very supportive, and in particular, you know, my daughter and, and my parents. And you said we're we're here in France now. We're sitting here in Nice, a few days out from our first uh, first World Cup game. The preparation, everything, it's all getting very real now, isn't it? It is. It's. Um, I think it's been it's been really good. Um, the hotel's fantastic, the facilities, the training ground, um, the players seem nice and relaxed, the preparations have been going well. It's it's been almost that you know, it's been a long time coming since we qualified in September. There's been a lot of planning um happened um, and preparation and again, you know, there's been a lot of people involved in that process and we as a national team want to do ourselves justice in, in this, this tournament, our very, very first World Cup. And I think um, I think the biggest thing is that we've done remarkable to get here, but we have set ourselves a target of getting out of the group and we're going to do everything we can to try and achieve that. But when we're not in these, you know, zoned into the moment, talking tactics and training on the pitch, I want the players to enjoy the experience here of being at a World Cup because it's such a hard, hard thing to do and they need to embrace every single moment.